Okay, hello everybody, welcome to the Chess Bay Drivecast, your one-stop shop for kind of controversial topics and kind of controversial opinions. If everything sounds louder than usual, that's because I have connected my phone to Bluetooth again. Let me just uh, mount that thing up back in the car, right where it belongs. Let me slow down the car so that I can actually stop at a stop sign like you're supposed to when you follow the law. But, um, ignoring semantics and actual road safety law, um, because that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about how dumb recycling is. I was, you know, driving back home and I was thinking, hey, recycling's pretty dumb. Let's talk about that. And nobody else is available to do a chess big drive test, at least at the time of recording. So I thought, you know what? Pretty good topic. I'm seeing a bunch of trash cans everywhere. Hey, let's just go with it. So there's, a, there's plenty of educational YouTubers out there who have already discussed this before. But recycling is very expensive and is... The stupid thing about recycling is that 99% of the time, it is very economically bad for you. It is not worth taking the time to trying to, um, it's not worth taking the time to actually go, uh, go spend some money to actually save the earth because all companies care about are profits and if you want to have the profits, well, you can't recycle. It's cheaper to actually use, uh, make new products based on what already exists. Also, why is everybody stopping here? I am so genuinely concerned. Why is everybody just stopping here? Oh, because there's a red light. I am a dumb... Anyways, um, yeah, the, it's very expensive, or at least it costs more than it, um, it costs more to actually recycle than it costs to, um, just make new bottled Pro, uh, like new bottles, new just plastic products as a whole, and that goes the same for styrofoam and paper is actually the only thing I'm, I'm pretty sure is kind of cutting it close, but for the most part, most products are quite uh, an expensive reach. Okay, I'm just going to get in here. I don't care if it costs me trouble. Screw this! Okay, anyways, um, like I was talking about before, the most companies, let's, let's be real here, they don't really care about actually saving the earth. All they care about is the profits. And uh, by profit, I don't mean like Muhammad the prophet or Jesus the prophet. I mean profit as in cha-ching, the mullah, the, the, the shmani. That one actually kind of gives it away. All people care about is the, is the bottom line, the bottom dollar bill. Aha. And they want to squeeze every last penny out as they possibly can. Because they know that every little margin that they can save on can save them possible millions and possible billions. It's kind of stupid, it's kind of dumb, and you know, it's smart. But it's also really selfish. And I don't know, I find it, I find it kind of hypocritical that all of these, um, so many companies, um, I don't, they, they, they so. They're more plastic than the plastic, um, they're more plastic than the plastic, uh, how do I say this, products that they make. Let's just say that. Because so many companies, when it comes to Earth Day, when it comes to Pride Month, which, um, probably was about three months ago for you guys. Yikes. Um, was it Pride Month? Uh, what else is there? Black History Month, Asian Pacific History, Cultural Months, whatever that's called. But you get it, you get my point. Uh, Earth Day, so many companies try to celebrate, ooh, we're, we're gonna celebrate th this, what is this, Commem Commem commiserations, no. We're gonna ce celebrate this holiday by, only for one month, pandering, not even caring, just pandering to a specific minority or cause that we don't actually care about, but it's going to get us lots of profits if we care about it for just this part of the year. It's really stupid. Like, anniversaries, that's one thing, you know, you're, you're talking about a milestone that your company or your small business uh, went, you know, you, not survived, that's not the word, you thrived for three years, you were able to keep yourself stable and you were able to uh, keep your business afloat. That's pretty good for you, for your little upstarter. Uh, even for big companies, you know, it's been 10 years since uh, Google first started and we're super proud of what we've accomplished because we went from a small 
a search engine uh, company to one of the biggest tech billionaire companies in the world. And obviously, I'm joking. I'm joshing with you. I mean, it's probably been more than like 20, 30, probably 30 years, 40 years, 35 years, somewhere around there since uh, Google became a thing. But my point is that a lot of these companies don't care. And because of that, they're not really willing to spend the money that's required to, to recycle. That's the point that I was actually trying to make in the first place. And I find that kind of dumb. But guys, a lot of the recycling products that you throw in that little blue bin, or at least that's what they do in my state, um, a lot of it just ends up in the garbage. I hate to tell you. Uh, that oily pizza box that you finished last night, yeah, that's going, that's unfortunately going into the, uh, the what do you want to call it? The landfill. Yes. It's unfortunately going into the landfill because that's just how they are. A lot, a lot of these products aren't reusable. Would you really want oil filled, oil filled paper the next time, you know, you want to write your next essay? I know it's really stupid that English classes have to have written essay, but we're not here to talk about that. Uh, what else is there? Plastic bottles. Look, I'll be real with you, most people just end up littering plastic bottles anyways. And uh, specifically to those people, what the hell is wrong with you? I used to be the guy that um, that buys water uh, bottle ba 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 ba. I used to buy wa bottled water all the time, and it yeah, it wasn't good for the environment. Not only was it ex um, economically, what the heck are you doing? Okay, buddy, 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 why are you taking a U-turn? Okay. Why do I have a feeling that that guy was just trying to evade the police? That man's just did a U-turn in the middle of a road as the police was driving by. I am genuinely scared of what that guy could have done if he got caught by the police and I got caught in the crossfire. What the heck is going on? Future me. I am still alive. There wouldn't be a future me if I was dead. That, that, that's kind of stupid to think about. Anyways, um... Um, most, yeah, I hate to say it, but Visco girls were kind of right, even though that they were really, really cringe, you gotta admit, at least they did something, they did more than what most people do. Like, Mr. Beast, sure, you can say that the whole 20 million trees thing was, um, a bit of an, uh, you know, they did it to grab attention, or, uh, they did it because they don't really care about... What am I kidding? Mr. Beast cares about the environment. The, the man actually cares about the people he talks to. Sure, he makes content that gets really old really fast, but at least he knows how to how to engage in an uh, environment, how to engage an environment, and how to engage an environment, and how to engage an audience. There we go. Uh, I don't know. What else? What 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 other, what other types of recycling is there? Cans. Cans are actually a bit of a surprise because. Cans are the one thing that actually people, uh, cans are actually pretty profitable because I'm pretty sure, um, most cans, you know, they're for pop, they're for sodas, and I'm pretty sure the, the, I'm pretty sure all of that sugary water actually can be washed off, which means in certain plants, they can just crush all the, crush all the cans and melt all that metal, metal back and turn them into can molds. It's actually the reason why most, not most, it's, a, it's the reason why certain states actually have that five cents of bottle, bo well, bottle, but mostly can returns. And funny enough, in the state that I live, Michigan, um, it's double that, it's 10 cents. And because of that, people in my state like to hoard cans. Yeah. They actually just have loads and loads of cans that every now and then they just bring to your local Kroger and just dump them all in there. Uh, Costco probably would have been a better example. But you get my point, though. They, they, they bring them all, they dump them in because it's it's good money, honestly. In the apocalypse, Michigan is going to have cans as, as its currency. I'm not kidding. Like, they'd probably do that just because they're worth that much in that state. Uh, am I forgetting anything? I'm, pro I'm probably forgetting a lot of things. Like I said, bottles, just buy reusable bottles. I have a reusable plastic bottle by that one company that's a Spanish word that I can't think of off the top of my head. 
because it's a really stupid name. Camel, wait, no, do I have a Camelback? I thought I had something else. I do have a Camelback. Oh. I have a very thick Camelback water bottle that has a crap ton of stickers in it, and oh no, it spilled water. How did it spill water? Oh, it didn't spill the keys. How does it spill water? It's leaking. How is it leaking? Do I... It's leaking. Oh, oh god, it's... Oh god, it's leaking a lot. What the heck is going on? Okay, um, I gotta end the recording because my water bottle is leaking a crap ton of water. Never mind, it's not leaking water. Buy a reusable water bottle, even though... Oh god. There's a bee right on my window. Even though what I'm saying is not exactly the best example, um, just buy a reusable water bottle. It's for the best. I'm gonna close the garage. Uh, I'll see you guys next time with the Chase Bay Drive cast. See you guys then. Recycle. But, recycle good things. Actually, recycle all things. Honestly, if they end up throwing it away, at least you tried.